animals mauled their owners to death. Andre Lamboga was killed and eaten by his own dogs. An Indonesian man, Andre Lamboga, left seven dogs without food and water for two weeks and went on a holiday. The starving dogs pounced on him as soon as he returned, killed him, and ate him. His death would not have been discovered if not for a curious neighborhood guard who saw abandoned luggage lined up at the front of his house without seeing any sign of the man. When the guard approached the house, the foul smell emanating from the house prompted him to call the police. The deceased man's skull was found in the kitchen, and his body was found in front of his house. The attackers were seven dogs in total, and they had killed and eaten two other dogs within the two weeks he was away. Ironically, Lumboga is from the northern Indonesian island of Sulawesi where the local diet is famous for including dogs. Mikal Prasek was mauled to death by his lion. A man named Mikal Prasek kept a lion and a lioness for breeding in his backyard in the Czech Republic. The pets were kept in homemade enclosures. He had drawn concern from local residents and authorities for his bizarre choice of pets, but nobody was willing to go out of their way to stop him, maybe out of fear of his wild animal companions. Cynthia Lee Gamble mauled by her own tiger. Cynthia Lee Gamble of Danforth Township in Pine County, Minnesota, was a woman who loved wildlife. She edited and wrote wildlife documentaries and was involved in television and feature films. She raised, trained, and filmed wolves, wolverines, coyotes, and foxes. Cynthia seemed to have a particular interest in tigers. Before her death, she had kept tigers on her property for at least a decade, and they had never created problems for her. Even the fact that Cynthia was not a novice at keeping wild cats could not keep her safe and alive. On the fateful day of her death, she was cleaning a Bengal tiger's cage and accidentally left one of the dropped doors open, exposing her to an attack from behind. The tiger quickly took the opportunity to maul her to death. I'll able maul to death by pet lion. Just like the previous entry, forgetfulness while cleaning a wild animal's cage led to the death of Al Abel. Ordinarily, Al Abel was fond of cleaning the cage of his pet lion, but he had never done this alone. On that fateful day, Al Abel was on his own at his Illinois farm and moved the pet lion from the main cage to the shift pen so that he could clean the main enclosure. Unfortunately, he left the gate between the main cage and the shift pen open while cleaning. The lion promptly pounced on the man and mauled him to death.